Good morning, children. Today our topic is all about plants, right? We know so many things about plants. What are the things that we know? Plants are also living things. They are mostly green in color. They are found in the gardens, fields, crops, on the roadsides. We find all the plants. They are of different sizes. So as per their size, just you call them with two different names. The ones which are small, you call them as plant. And the one which is big, you call it as a tree. But is this naming is scientific? Shall we call the smaller ones as plants and bigger ones as trees? Right? Or is there any scientific way, systemic, systematic way of calling the plants? So let us find out or explore some important facts about the plants. The first thing that we are going to see is that how the plants are grouped, right? As per their size and appearance, the plants are grouped into three. Now here we are discussing the size of the plant. So that means when you are talking about the size of the plant, you need to compare it with somebody, right? So you are going to compare the size of the plant or tree with yourself, right? So where are you? You are here. Here you are and you have some plants or trees around you. So here you see that there is a small plant beside you which is smaller than you. So you observed it how it is. You looked at it. It's very small. It's very thin. And the stem is very tender. If you apply little force just to try to bend it, it may break. Such a tender plants are called as herbs. So we find such herbs in the garden and all around you find very small plants in the open grounds which have very tender stems, very small. Sometimes they cannot resist the wind even. Even for the wind, they may break. Such a tender stem they have, right? So what are the herbs? You can write some herbs. You can take the herb as mint. You can take the example a herb, mint. You can take coriander, coriander. That is also a small herb, right? So then next move to the shrubs. What are these shrubs? These are much bigger plants, but they are not as big as the tree. How are the shrubs? The shrubs, they will be around your size, sometimes a little bigger than you, but their stems are hard. So here they are a bit taller than you. The stems are very hard compared to herbs. Herb, it is having a very tender stem. That means by applying a little pressure, you can break the stem. Whereas in case of a sherb, the stem is strong enough, but it is not as like a big tree. Just it is in the size of you or a little much taller than you. Okay, so that is a shrub. How are the stems? They are woody and strong. And one more important feature of the shrubs is that their branches, they come from the base of the plant, right? So if you observe the base of the plant, you find so many stems arising at the base. You can see that from the base, you can find so many branches. Branching is done at the base. So what are the examples of the shrubs? Many of the garden fruit shrubs. Like you can see that guava is a shrub. It's not a big tree. Lemon, pomegranate. You can see all these are shrubs. Even rose and jasmine and some berries, maple trees. All these are shrubs, right? So they are like very small trees, small in size. They are not like big trees like mango, neem, people, bunion. So those are the bigger trees. So if you see the bigger one, this is called as a tree. Generally trees, they have very big trunk. What is called as a, the stem of the tree is called as a trunk. It's very big and it is very broad and it is woody so hard full of wood such kind of stem they have and mostly in our climate in our tropical climate we have the trees with a 
strong trunk, no branching at the bottom. You don't find the branches at the bottom of the stem. Only after reaching certain height, you can find the branching. Right? So, from these branches, so many leaves arise and it forms a dome shape. Dome. This dome, sometimes it is also called as canopy. Canopy. So, you might be seeing a canopy of an umbrella. You know umbrella, you use it when it rains. You open the umbrella, there is a stick and over that there is a canopy. So, you will be hiding yourself in the canopy. So, by that no rain falls on you. In the same way, if you see a tree, there is a canopy. So, this is generally observed in the trees in tropical regions. Right? In India, in our climatic conditions, we see this in warm places. But as whereas well in if you go to Himalayas and snowfall areas, there you find the conifers. Conifers, they have a different shape. They have a broad stem even. But the conifers, they have this particular cone shape. Right? So, that cone shape, it helps the tree to slide off all the snow down. So, there is a reason. So, here come back to the trees. The trees, they have a very big trunk. On that, there are so many branches which are filled with leaves and it forms an umbrella-like shape called a canopy. The trees are much taller than you, much bigger than you. You look small in front of a tree. Tree is a very bigger one. So, on basing the appearance, the size, we have divided the plants into herbs, shrubs and trees. Herbs are the plants with a very tender stem and they are very small in size. Shrubs are the plants with woody stems having the branches from the base of the tree and they grow approximately to your size or a little higher than you. Right? Trees are the very big plants which is having a very big trunk which is very broad and woody and heavy and after reaching a certain height there we find the branching and there you find number of leaves and all which forms a canopy or a dome shape. So that is a tree. So now you completely and clearly know the difference between a tree, a shrub and a herb. Right. So now let us explore the different parts of a plant and their functions.